welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back today with a book card reading for you. Um, a big welcome back to my beautiful returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your beautiful comments and for your support of me in the comment section. And a big special welcome and thank you to everyone who has reached out to me on Etsy or Instagram. Um, I'm weaving my way through my Instagram messages. So if you've sent me a message there, I am trying to get to it. So be patient with me. Um, but I really appreciate you guys reaching out and I really appreciate you guys being here today. Um, and for those of you who have stumbled across this channel for the very first time, I do pick a card readings on this channel. Um, so please join us, grab yourself some snacks, a cup of tea, and we'll have a little chat because we're all friends when we gather at my table. Um, today's pick a card topic, we're looking at the person on your mind and what would they do or say and say if they got you alone. So this could be a no contact person that you're asking about. What would they do or say if they got you alone? for the first time perhaps in a while. Um, we do have three piles for you to choose from today. Pile number one here with the Treasured Memories card and the Pink Peony, I think it's a peony or a Peach Peony. Pile number two with the Gardener Oops. and the Pink Rose. Pile number three with the Day and Night card and we have the uh, cream colored flower for you. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there may be a message waiting from Spirit today and my timestamps are listed below. I'm going to jump right into pile number one. Again, today's topic is if they got you alone, what would they say? What would they do? Pile one. Hello everyone. In pile number one, you were drawn to this big beautiful flower or perhaps to the treasured memory card. And this is, you know, you could be in no contact from this person for sure, because this treasured memory card, you can see them looking forward, but they're holding on to this balloon with both hands about all of the memories that they, they have of you. Um, and this person is really grateful that they had these memories to share with you. They may be forward facing, but you can see there's almost like, like poppies or something in the hair. It's like their experiences with you have empowered them in some way. And so there's almost a, a huge gratitude that comes in because of the memories that they have. So this could be woven into your message about how they would react or perceive if they did um, get to have you alone again. They could really um, communicate how grateful they are to have experienced something with you in the first place, which is kind of a lovely way to begin your reading. Let's start though and see if they got pile number one alone, how would they act? What would they do? We'll get some messages about what they would say to you in a few moments, but let's start with how would, what would they do? Whoops. We have the sun coming out. So this is something that, again, a lot of gratitude embodied in the sun. I love that energy to come out first for you. Um, so much gratitude for the for you as a person. It's like you've taught them a lot. Even if there's been disconnect, you've taught them so much. What would they do if they got you a little We have the hermit, the queen of wands and the six of cups. I feel like they've almost prepared themselves for this moment in a way, because if they, it's like they have a plan, they know exactly. And even with the queen of wands, they know exactly what they're, what they would say, what they would do. They know exactly how they would act because they've been thinking about this. This is not the first time they've fantasized about the situation. Ace of cups. Back of the deck is the judgment. I love this energy for you, pile one. If they got you alone, they would truly, because they already have a plan, they already know exactly what they're going to say, exactly what they're going to attempt to do. Of course, they're going to be feeding off of your cues. And um, if you're not matching their frequency, then they might pull back. But they have this, it's almost like a, it's almost coming across as a bit of a utopian fantasy though. Um, it's like if I saw them again, I would express myself. I would take my masks off. I would tell them how grateful I am for the experience. It, there's just so much revelation of them sort of revealing themselves and bringing about peace to the situation. And that is the main goal. I will say from this person is their main goal is to bring about peace for themselves and for you. But that's a lovely energy. What they do if they got you alone? We have the magician, the knight of wands reversed. You know, they almost have this expectation that they would act a little bit impulsively towards you in a physical sense. Yeah, like taking risks here, <laughs> taking risks in area that they never ever took before with you in the past, because I think that this connection was almost stemmed from a lack of action. 
Like they, they were too fearful to really harness all of the power inside of them to reveal how they felt in the first place in the past. But that shadow has followed them along um, their whole route. And I feel like you could have spent quite a few years away from this person potentially. Um, and if that's the case, they've had quite a time to prepare um, to prepare what they what they would say to you. And I think they would take some pretty big risks, if I'm honest, because they didn't in the past. And when I said that they're going to try to match your frequency, of course, here comes the Queen of Swords. So they are a little bit, um, they really hope that you'll be honest and open and that you feel the same way. They really hope that, and they are, there's part of them that's really, it could be feigning confidence, but they're almost confident that you do, that you do feel the same way, that you feel as connected as they do. That's what they're really, really hoping for. I think that they would act a bit impulsively. I think that they would rush in for some sort of physical action, whether it be a kiss or something more. I think that they would act a little bit impulsively. We have the Hierophant. Back of the deck is the King of Wands. And it's no secret that we have the Queen of Wands right here in the center with your back of deck because this person thinks that the two of you are soulmates. They think that you guys are very well matched. And they think, or they hope, I should say, this is wishful thinking, but they hope that you would, if they're going to act impulsively and go for it, because that's what it feels like, they would go for it. Then they want you to do the same. They're hoping that you'll do the same and that you won't be like cutting them off at the pass because sometimes the queen of swords can be a little intimidating. She's honest to a fault. And that's the big thing for them. That's what really kind of fills them with a little bit of fear. But honestly, it's not strong enough to stop them. It wouldn't be strong enough to stop them. So I think that they would almost shoot some sort of shot with you, pile one. And they would hope their, their main objective is for peace for the situation. But their hope is, is that it would actually sort of evolve naturally into more evolution between the two of you. That, that you guys would be able to really create. It's like making amends for what didn't happen in the past. That's what I'm being shown here. We have the hanged man. Surrender to a new emotional start. And the hangman really does talk about the constant reflection that goes on. It's like they have taken stock. They've taken a pause at this point in their life and they've taken stock about where they went wrong with you. And they're not in a negative vibration about it either. They're very focused about it. They're very focused about the plan that they have set in place for themselves if they got this opportunity to see you and to get you alone. Um, and I will say that it's almost projecting as like a physical practical plan so this person may have um actual connection or may actually may, may make actual connection with you in the future as well so there's a certain amount of surrender to the flow which is quite lovely actually if they got you alone what would happen you have here the great severing mars energy anger conflict softening to love so if this did end poorly in the past for you, Pal One. Um, time and space has allowed a softening of the heart. Is allowed, and they're hoping for you too, <laughs> um, a softening. Of, for, but that's not for everyone. I don't feel like there was great conflict other than the great conflict within ourselves. They're mad at themselves and they've already gone through the process of even forgiving themselves, I feel. This person's in a very optimistic state of mind. Um, but they're mad at themselves for letting fear overcome them because they're saying I've grown I've grown out of that look at how confident this king of wands looks very charismatic type of energy and where there's smoke there's still fire for you they they would not let the ghosts of the past haunt them again if they got another chance star bathing light body crystal grid transmission activation hoping that another opportunity to see each other again would fuel something more some sort of new emotional beginning Back of the deck says, Hariot, longing for home and homesick for the stars. And you may be that star that they feel really homesick for. You could be an Aquarius energy, so take that as it resonates. Let's shift gears and see what would they say to you. What would they say to you if they got you alone? Pile one, if they got you alone, what would they say to you? What would they reveal when they took off those masks? that this is not over for me. This is far from being over. Put those back, too many spirits. What would they say if they got you alone? 
what would their message be? <laughs> yeah, they would act very impulsively. I think they know exactly what they want. Feels very physical, um, but it's all you know. What the physicality came in secondary. Like they, they, this person has a lot of emotional investment in you, but they would definitely be <laughs> taking a risk, shooting their shot. I'm weighing out my options. The Two of Pentacles, and they're holding space for this, and they know that they they know that this is going to happen. There's almost a confidence coming in from this King of Wands. It's like if this isn't going to happen, I'm going to make it happen. They're, it's like they're just waiting for the opportunity because they know it's going to happen. So as I walked away to find myself, and what they found led them straight back towards you. It's like all paths lead to home. The treasured memories, every time they forward facing, when they were forward facing in their life, they continually went back to the past with you. Because you are my home. You make me feel at home is on the back of that deck. What would they say to pile number one, please, if they got you alone? I want you. I want you, I want you, I want you. <laughs> In every sense of the word, they want you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. In fact, they have never succeeded in that. They haven't let you go. You were the best thing in my life. So much gratitude coming straight at the gate from this person. So much gratitude. I really like this person. I think that they have some really good energy. I regret lying to you about my feelings because that's what I feel like they were lying about. And if they were lying about more... That may be um, highlighted by that car we just saw about anger and conflict. But they're more mad at themselves than anything else for not expressing themselves to you. My life is not as together as it seems. And the back of the deck says, but I'm becoming a better person. And they do equate a certain amount of that to you as well. Let's get a few more here. What would they say to you if they got you alone? Pile one. Do you even remember me? This could have started as friendship, this person. It, sh it may have stayed in friendship, but it, did it should not have. They're waiting for you, waiting for your call. It's like, just say the word. Just say the word, and I will be right there. Because reality has hit me like a ton of bricks. And the fact is, is that you might be my soulmate. I don't think I've stopped smiling throughout this whole spread. I just feel like um, my cheeks are heating up. I feel like uh, it's like a crush situation. I am stuck in a complicated situation. I thought there was two there, but there's not just one. And whenever I'm with them, I think about you. So for someone in the, someone with this pile, someone watching, um, this person could be partnered up and that could be what's causing the delay. Um, that's not for everyone, though. I should be satisfied with what I have, but I'm not. And the back of the deck says, I do have a lot to lose. So if you are privy to this person's situation, they may have something. And a lot to lose could encompass a lot of things. A physical relationship, their you know, position as far as keeping the upper hand emotionally. Pile one in your charm bowl. If they got you alone. Ooh. We have the Page of Cups and the Devil Reversed. Again, very sexual energy with that Devil Reversed. You know, but it also indicates somebody who could feel like they have to detach from something that's holding them back from being able to pursue you. But I feel like if they got you alone, they wouldn't waste that opportunity. No, there's the Eight of Wands. They Oh, here's another one, Ace of Cups. They would definitely be shooting their shot for more. Feels very physical. They want it to stem perhaps in the physical realm because it never went in that place in the first place. And they're really craving that when it comes to you as well. It's like, I've been waiting a long time for this. In the bowl today, we have here the lipstick, a big symbol of seduction. We have the letter G and it's surrounding a stethoscope. So there could be a hospital nursing connecting, connection connected to a G name, a blocked heart chakra, someone who hasn't expressed themselves. We have GFT. We have the Empress with the starfish energy, which is a healing energy. We also have a little sword, I think with the sword of truth, a strawberry, and the Cupid's arrow. 
All right, group one, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonated. If it did, I would love to hear your story in the comment section below, and I would love for you to be a part of our beautiful soul family here by subscribing. If you do subscribe, be sure to drop me a comment below and hit your notification bell so that I can enter you in for a chance to win a free reading with me. Uh, congratulations to this month's winner. Um, you can also check me out on Instagram for a chance to win a free mini read on a monthly basis, and you can check me out on Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to, and that link is below. But I hope that you come back here for another visit at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile two. You are drawn to the little pink rose um, or to the gardener card, and this is your reading. The person on your mind, if they got you alone, what would they do? What would they say to you? Um, the gardener here is all about someone who is spending a lot of time to um, really reflect upon their position, really spending a lot of time tending to growth within themselves too. Um, so I feel like this person has gone through a big state, and this could be your energy as well, so take that as it resonates, but this person could have gone through a real sort of state of awareness that was precipitated by this connection in some way because they're fueling themselves with practical it feels like they're fueling themselves with like with practical steps they can take when they're fueled with feelings of loss about you feelings of shame or guilt that could come across because of the things that happened or didn't happen in your connection they're working on ways to keep moving forward there's a certain amount of patience associated with this card too and they you can see her dress is made of a building so is her top she's got these little houses above her head so this person may have moved forward into another relationship but let's take a look at the energy here if they got you alone what would they do pile number two if your person got you alone what would happen Here's that Seven of Pentacles. Very, very similar energy here with the Seven of Pentacles. And, you know, this is a natural pause point with the Seven of Pentacles. It definitely talks about impatience that they've experienced um, because of the disconnect, perhaps. Um, but they've taken time to take stock, to evaluate where what this connection had as an effect on them or what has happened because of this connection. The Ten of Wands is really this burden that they feel like they've carried. So if they got you alone, what would they do? The Eight of Wands. The World. They definitely would have, I feel like they would really want to communicate a lot to you with this Eight of Wands. And this is sort of a wish, and it may even be something that they feel like is a necessity for them in order to create closure here. The Nine of Pentacles, yeah. It's like they feel like this is a requirement for them to be able to overcome and to be able to move forward. So, and, and honestly, what I'm seeing in my mind is like when a a therapist or something gives you homework to achieve something. I feel like this person could be in therapy or has been in therapy or engages in those sorts of therapeutic type of techniques um, because it's almost like they feel like this is something that is a necessity. This is a step they have to have, getting you alone, having a conversation with you so that perhaps they can release the hope that they have in there. And it sounds sad, to be honest. It's like they want to, they feel like they need to release that expectation and speaking with you may be the only way they feel like they can accomplish that so if they got you alone they definitely want to have a conversation about their desire for you um, and the hopeful release of you but then we have this ace of wands <laughs> because as I often say in my channel here's the sun card the sun is about gratitude is about epiphanies it's about truth coming in for us and setting us on a very clear course and their hope is that if they ever got you alone, they could communicate and get what they needed to get off of their chest, off of their chest, that they've been waiting for such a long time to do. And I feel like it could even be years that they've waited to do this. But what Spirit says is actually could happen here is it would just ignite more for them. They, they feel like it could help them to gain some sort of independence from the connection itself. But ultimately, it, it just kind of thrusts us back into a cycle of want a little bit here it does set us back we have the six of swords
because they feel and that it, it's like they need your help they've had time to prepare for this and they've had time to prepare for for what their actions would be and what their expectations of those actions would wield and when we see the six of swords it's it's wanting to calm the waters it's wanting to clear up confusion and it's it's rec sometimes the sixes come in with this very collaborative effort of like help receiving help receiving some type of help from another party and they need they feel like they need that it's like they need you to let go but spirit says here that these types of connections are are usually about self mastery and being able to weave our own destiny and ultimately another person cannot give us closure in a situation we are responsible for our own closure here's the queen of pentacles there's the high priestess and so this and this really inter I love tarot because of how I feel it, I find it's fascinating because of how spirit projects the messages to me because this concept for them of closure that they would get closure it's rooted in the in the ego and this the actual you know truth of the matter is you can see the higher self is, is you know she rises above the situation she sees the truth and she sees it as again more of a temptation in their hearts it's like they want to see you again because ultimately they want to rile things up again they don't want to release they feel like maybe they should for their own perhaps peace of mind but they can't they can't <laughs> it's like they don't actually want to release it we have the six of pentacles and we have the ace of pentacles on the back of the deck with the king of wands now what's interesting is we have the ace of pentacles as the back of deck which is talking about an opportunity to communicate to kind of um again open up a new line of communication or open up a new cycle of some st some sort it's about starting at square one for this person because they feel like they need to overcome your connection to to be free to feel confident to feel assured um to move forward and what's really holding them back too is that they fear like this is one-sided so it's almost like if they get the assurance of like yes I, you felt the same way now i can let go but this expectation of like oh they felt the same way now i can release is very unrealistic for this person because the underlying energy is still want is still desire is still hope for new beginnings because this person wants more and there's a lot of like physical sexual energy even associated with the knight of wands the king of wands because it's focused it's driven it's hot <laughs> so as much as they are uh, they've told themselves that if they got you alone they would be very it would be all about closure be about communication and release you can see how the eight of wands they're releasing they're releasing that wish they're just releasing it but it, spirit says it would just rile things back up and ultimately they do kind of hope for new beginnings here but there would definitely be communication i feel like this person could maybe wear masks around you until they felt the situation out as well if they got you alone what would happen you have here trust the timing trust the wave you came in on time is not running out and I feel like they're worried about that because I do feel like it's been a long perhaps no contact situation for the two of you so take that as it resonates and we have lifting the veil questioning everything anything unaligned must go and that's exactly what this gardener is doing they're trying to forge a new path for them like this person is trying to move forward they're trying to plant new positive seeds but there's also a very strong sense of healing that's sort of igniting all of this need for growth they do feel like this connection is holding them back but again this is all perceptions this is all just a perception um if they feel like it's this connection holding them back that is the call from spirit for them to turn that that energy inward to reflect upon what's leading them to that conclusion uh, we have you're not alone isolation physical connection and community and that's what they really want that's what they would try to communicate they want an assurance that they're not alone in this that they haven't suffered all of this you know alone and that's what they're almost worried about it's like this is one-sided it's it's I'm not supported in this connection and I want to know that I am supported in this connection the problem with that is that they wouldn't gain the closure that they're looking for they would just end up riling up more energy about you 
But let's get a couple of messages here. What would they say to you if they got you alone? What would they say if they got pile two alone, please? I wish I had treated you better in the past. I wish I would told you the truth. I wish I would planted better seeds for us. I will wait for a sign from you. And I knew exactly what I was doing. And that's the thing is that this Seven of Pentacles is a very kind of, it's supposed to be a patience card. <laughs> it's supposed to be a patience card. It's often called the impatience card because we don't like to be kept waiting. But this person, I don't feel like they will make contact to you. Because if they were the ones to reach out to you, it would just double down on that energy, on that frequency of like, oh, this is one-sided because I have to put in all the effort. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So if they got you alone, they would definitely start to take onus for their path and what led them to this place. Because it's again, it feels like they're ticking off boxes of steps that they have to take. It's like, these are the steps I have to take to survive and to heal from this situation to release. And they feel like there's certain things that they have to, to do. Like take on the onus to themselves. You speak to me through music. They would explain to you how deep the connection was from their perspective. And they would let you know that their life is not as together as it seems. But they're trying to rebuild. And that's their focus here with the world in the center is to, to, rebe to rebuild. they say if they got you alone pile two I don't want to lose you ultimately the ego inside of them does not want to release this they are very possessive over you emerging idea passion creativity and initiation we have the ace of wands here as well if they were given the green light for you I think that they would or from you, I think that they would um, go charging in. I don't think that they would hesitate in a physical sense. We have weight. And you're so beautiful. What do you need me for? It would be difficult for them to express themselves, though, unless you are equally as vulnerable, if not more so. I worry about us a lot. And that's, you know, the seven. And we have here, you're so beautiful very special to me and that's the 21 the world like the deck says i'm ready for fight to fight for this the five of wands uh the world is right in the center of your reading too it's like you are so very special and that's what they would want to communicate with you about how there's something unique about you in their eyes and they hope that again that it's reciprocated but that's their fear they would be a little bit hesitant and i feel like they would they wouldn't share some of these sentiments unless you step towards them in boldness or um vulnerability as well what would they say to pile two if they could say anything if they got them alone i'm haunted by this connection and my life is in chaos right now and they're trying so hard to hold it together. It's like they feel like they have to hold on to these certain steps or certain certain rules that they abide by or else they'll lose control. I am wearing a mask. So it's kind of bright. I'm wearing a mask. In a perfect world, it is you and it is me. I just saw the breakup is bad. I'm still healing. But I'm afraid that I've already lost you. And there is third party interference. Now this could be on your side or their side. I do feel like for you there may be third party here as well. Back of the deck says, I know that I messed up back then. Let's get a charm bowl for you. Pile number two, if your person got you alone. What is the one thing they would guarantee to say to you if they got you alone? King of Pentacles sideways. Very jealous energy coming from that King of Pentacles. Uh, if they got you alone, they would, for someone watching here, they would communicate how they have to take certain steps in order to come towards you. Um, for someone watching, this person says they are very much attached. 
this third party situation. It's always very important to remember I'm dealing with collective energy during these readings. So if it doesn't resonate with your situation, you can try a different pile or a different reading altogether. Um, for someone watching though, this person says it's going to create havoc for me. Um, in my home situation, if I were to come towards you, but their emotions are still there. They're just saying, I'm not, they would tell you that they're not feeling very um, emotionally abundant in their current situation, but that they've invested a lot of time there and they don't want to create havoc for themselves. We have, oh, we have here the Chanel number five. I think about somebody who dresses really well, somebody who is really concerned about um, the appearances of things, perhaps concerned about a foundation that they've built up. We do have the lock and the key here. So somebody who, who holds your their feelings for you in a very secretive way. We have watermelon. We have handmade. I think about children with that energy. We have the little moon with the blue um, reflections that continually go on about you and the bee had the starfish so someone who is in pain because they feel like they need to actively heal themselves and I feel like there's been time here a lot of time and disconnect we have here remember the Sabbath day so someone who is um, involved in some type of religious commitment perhaps so take that as it resonates all right pile two that's what I have for you today I hope that it resonated, and if it did, I would love to hear your story below in the comment section. I would love for you to subscribe to the channel and hit your notification bell and drop me a comment so that I can enter you in for a chance to win a free reading with me. You can also check me out on Etsy for a personal reading, and that link is below. But I hope that you come back here for another day at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hello, Pile 3. You are drawn to this big, beautiful cream-colored flower and the day and night card, and this is your reading. If your person got you alone, what would they say? What would they do? We're going to start with the do. What would they do if they got you alone? And the day and night card is about uncertainty and worries and indecision, following your instincts as well. Um, I feel like they honestly don't know what they would do. If they really to sit and think about it, if you were sort of thrust into their field of view <laughs> or into their experience, you know, suddenly they wouldn't know how to handle themselves. Um, and when they think about it, it does thrust them into a little bit of worry. You may feel the same way. You may be like, you know, it's, it's great to fantasize about change here, but I'm not really prepared for the reality of change. So what would this person do if they got you alone? We'll pull some message cards for what they would say to you um, in a little bit, but let's take a look at what would they do. How would they act if they got you along group three? We have everything is fine and we have an explosion on the floor, <laughs> which tells a different story. Um, and what I love about the everything, not that I, what I love about it, but the everything is fine. We have two versions of the Ten of Swords in this deck. Um, this is the Modern Witch Tarot. Um, and one says Ten of Swords and one says everything is fine. And this is sort of a card of emotional turmoil but acting like everything's fine so again they don't know what they would do if they're if it's thrust upon them and i think that they wouldn't know what to do they haven't really planned for anything it doesn't feel like they would act like everything is fine and they may even act really unbothered when in reality it would be emotionally overwhelming for them even ten of wands back of deck yeah it's like it would throw them completely off course what would they do if they got you alone? They wouldn't know what to do. I feel like they wouldn't know what to do or what to say. They're a ball of nerves is what it feels like. And I think it's because they do think about you quite a bit. We have the moon. Yeah, they reflect upon you all the time. Day and night, it says. Even day and night, they reflect upon you. The temperance. The nine of swords. <laughs> This person is an overthinker. This person worries about seeing you again and getting you alone because it's like they worry about not taking advantage of the opportunity. They almost worry about it showing up for them. Um, yeah, this person's a worrier. Let me clarify the Ten of Swords. What would they do if they got group number three alone? 
Seven of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. You know, there's it's kind of um, not great energy because it almost feels like they would put on a lot of masks. Put on a lot of masks when it comes to you. Because they wouldn't want to showcase or to highlight their insecurity. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Chariot. What would they do if they got you alone? The Six of Pentacles. I really don't, honestly, if this person got you alone, we have the Four of Swords Reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, they may not take advantage of the opportunity the way that it would present. Back of the deck is the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. And that would be a shame because they have a lot to express to you. They have a lot to get off of their chest. And the fact is, is that you are a wish and a dream for this person. You are someone that they fantasize about all the time. They're always thinking about the situation, but it's also what's really casting all of their doubt. It's always, it's, it's shadowing them in this sense of imbalance inside of themselves. They overthink the situation. And if they got you alone, they would do the same thing. They would overthink the situation. They wouldn't want to reveal themselves right away. Even though the projected outcome would want this, like if they did reveal themselves and they overcame that, then they could reignite something because ultimately they want to reignite this spark. That's the wish. The wish is to have this spark, but they have to create that through action. You know, they have to fuel that spark with more. And here with the Nine of Cups and even with the Six of Swords, the Nine of Cups is about that fantasy and that dream and that wish. But this is a support to the Ace of Cups. And sometimes when I see the Nine of Cups, I see, I, she, her arms are crossed, her legs are crossed. She looks a little smug there. It's about maintaining some type of appearances sake. And even if they were thrust into a lot of emotion for you, I feel like they would suppress how they feel because... They wouldn't want to, they wouldn't want for their ego to take a hit in your eyes. And this Knight of Swords is really masking this urge for movement. The overthinking would cost them the opportunity. That's what Spirit says. The overthinking would cost them the opportunity because you can see here with the, the Five of Wands masking right up because of the challenges of insecurity, worry, jealousy, fear. And so I feel like this person would not clearly communicate because they're, and it would really be contingent upon the fact that if they felt like it was one-sided specifically, the six of pentacles is reversed here. So they don't feel like they have the support or they don't feel like it's, it, that you would feel the same way. And so it's so much easier to pretend and act unaffected, even though they're not going to actually be unaffected. They're just be wearing a mask. So they might even put on airs and, and act like they're, you know, that their position that they're holding right now is really great and that they're feeling really happy. There's a smugness about the Nine of Cups. But ultimately, it would be their responsibility to wield the truth forward. But that's the problem with the Six of Swords is that this is their truth. The truth will set them free, but they're worried about that because all of those truths are sitting in that hull of that boat now. And if we pull them out, we're going to capsize all the emotional come in and they don't want to lose control of that emotion. And even in the day and night card, you can see she wears a mask. She wears a mask as well. So I do feel this person would mask up if they got you alone again. If they got you alone, what would they do? We have here star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission and activation. And if they got you alone, it would truly be something that's orchestrated by fate, truly. There's a lot of major arcanic themes here represented for you. There's a lot of lessons being learned in this connection, even in the disconnect. We have here the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, making your life a moving prayer. And it came out reversed. There's a, there is a very strong devotion to this connection. 
They feel very devoted to you. And if they didn't, they wouldn't be thrust in so much despair. They wouldn't be thrust into so much fear or worry um, with the concept of like, oh, it's over. So if they can't accept that. Back of the deck says, star family, you're a part of a team of souls, call in support. And that's where they would, that's where they're doubting themselves. They're doubting the fact that this connection is supported by you or that you feel the same way. They are afraid to take their masks off. And even in the Six of Pentacles, she's wearing shades to reflect, you know, to take the reflection off of me to, you know, it's, I don't think that they would, they would speak honestly about their feelings if they saw you again, or if they got you alone. I think that they would really suppress how they feel because they're trying to maintain a certain image or trying to maintain a certain persona. Hmm. Let's get some message cards. What would they say to you if they got you alone? If they got pile three alone, what would they say? I just saw you deserve someone better than me. I'm really afraid of where this path leads. And so they keep it, uh, you know, suppressed. The moon. What would they say if they got you alone? If pigs could fly. It, you know, it sounds sad, but they don't even believe that it's possible to get you alone. And if they don't believe it's possible, it means that they wouldn't actually act to get that opportunity in the first place. Uh, I'm scared to face you. And that's why I, th I feel like they wouldn't say a lot because it's fear. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm scared. If pigs could fly, it's like, I just want space. Overflow, fresh start and emotions. And that's the ace of cups because it's like, once I turn on the tap, I might not be able to turn it back off. If I start to let something out and something starts to trickle out, I might get undammed and then everything is gonna come flowing out of me. So as I watch you, I just can't help it. So if they got you alone, pile three, they would, they would, maybe there would be communication, but it wouldn't be deep communication because they're too scared. What would they say to you if they got you alone? I'm so attracted to you. I think I you a moment. Whoops. I wish that I could take back my words. <laughs> so it's like I don't want to say too much because I'm, a, I'm worried that I'll have to take them back. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I want to be more than friends. And ultimately, I feel like that's been the issue that they haven't been able to say from the very beginning of your connection. It's like, I don't want to be just your friend. I have enough friends. I want to be more. You came closer than anyone. And I wish that I could feel that way again is on the back of that deck. If they got you alone, pile number three, what would they say? I'm stuck in a complicated situation right now. I like the way you move. And I am creeping your social media, maintaining a watcher position. And that seems to be the theme here. It's like getting you alone, but not acting upon the opportunity. I should be satisfied with what I have, but I'm not. There could be third party here as well on your side or their side. We do have the chariot, which is talking about a decision that has to be made. I'm just going through the motions of life right now. So if they are in another situation, there's a lot of boredom there. But I have so much to lose. And back of the deck says, reality has hit me like a ton of bricks. So their feelings for you have definitely hit them hard. Pile number three. Let's get a charm bowl for you. If this person could say anything to you while they got you alone with zero filter, what would they say? What is one thing they would say with zero filter if they could? If they got you alone, pile three. The tower. I would let everything out. I would tell you that I feel like we're fated to be with the wheel of fortune. Um, they would say to you that I feel really stuck in a rut right now. I feel like I'm not in control of my own experience. I'm trying to avoid chaos and I feel stuck. 
It's not a permanent type of stuckness. The Eight of Swords is talking about someone who's put themselves in a position that they now feel trapped by. Um, again, it could have something to do with their third party if there is one. So take that as it resonates to your situation. But they would just tell you that they have so much to say, but they can't because they won't be able to take it back. It'll be permanent. And if and they're too scared to make it permanent because they don't know if they can act and, and follow up what they have to say or how they feel in their heart with practical steps because of their situation. We have always, we have love. It's built up on a foundation. I think about the Hierophant. We have the letter V. Oops, we also have here a little angel. So there could be children involved in this situation. We have a, this five. I always think about Chanel number five. I think of somebody who is really worried about appearances sakes or somebody who takes really good care of themselves, um, surviving the opinions of other people. I think of May and the fifth of any month. We have the whale tail, someone who wants to express themselves, um, but it's also a surrender to my situation as well. We have Leo energy and claiming our independence with the kitty cat. And we do have the hospital or nursing connection with the nursing cap over the heart. It could also be a blocked heart chakra, someone who has the uh, difficulty expressing themselves if they got you alone again. All right, pile number three, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonates with you. If it did, I would love to hear your story below in the comment section, and I would love for you to subscribe to this channel and become a, a member of our soul family here. Um, be sure to hit your notification bell if you drop me a comment below so that I can enter you in for a chance to win a free reading with me. You can also check me out on Etsy for a personal reading, and that link is below. But I hope that you come back here for another day at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day.